In our information age, data analysis has transformed everything from business to sports to politics. Now the nation's restaurants are getting a taste for new technology. It can point out hidden trends and opportunities and reveal dangerous blind spots. The new book, Underground Culinary Tour, details this developing trend. I had the chance to sit down with the author, whose data company now has thousands of restaurants as clients. In developing this, you noticed that restaurants were largely run on gut. How hard was it to convince people this is something they needed? The restaurant industry, there's a lot of artistry in it. And one of the things that I noticed is I would ask very simple questions to my chefs and managers. You know, why do your food costs go up? Why do your labor costs go up? Who are your top and bottom servers? And I would get blank stares and wrong answers to help restaurateurs. Damien Mogavaro is the founder of the software company Avero. His technology is helping some of the country's top restaurants stay at the top. How many times have you gone into a restaurant and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't find the server. I want to pay for the check or I need to order another drink. All those things are actually buried in the data and the data actually can help the restaurateur really understand what the strengths and weaknesses of a server so they can provide that training so they can provide a consistent uh, guest experience. Order in. Restaurants generate a lot of information. The problem is many of them just don't use it. With Avero, a waiter enters an order into a computer. Mogavaro's software sends the information straight to the cloud and then makes sense of it. So the restaurant is generating all this data. You're giving them a way to comb through it. Exactly. It really is like money ball for restaurants, like a baseball card. So in a baseball card, you would have runs batted in on base percentage. But in the service scorecard, it has things like how many times have you sold an appetizer, what the table turn time is. We had some information, but it didn't drill down as much. And then again, you couldn't manipulate it. So Tom Calicchio, restaurateur and founder of Craft Hospitality, was one of Mogavaro's first clients. It's helped your business. Absolutely. We use it in all of our restaurants. It's something we rely on now. I mean, are you making menu decisions based on it? Yes. You know, our highest selling item is also our highest food cost item. That's a mistake. Um, and by gut, you can tell that, you know, but now you have real data. Now, multiply that over, you know, eight restaurants. The data can be used to see how everything from the weather to a server's performance can impact business. So what you're looking at here is a service module. So these are the servers here, and it'll give you their class, and then this is sort of average cover, average checks. Then you can see in beverage where they're sort of falling behind. So if you look down here, total wine sales to the average, this person's uh, behind by $6.63. So now we can go back and, and, and talk to the team. But Mogavaro says while data analysis is vital, it's not everything. The ingredients to success are in food trends, as well as atmosphere and aesthetics. To educate owners, he takes them into the field on a 15-stop restaurant excursion called the underground culinary tour. It sounds like an odyssey. It's 25 hours, 15 restaurants? Yes, and we give them a uh, six hour nap, <laughs> which is very important. You know, hydrate, a little sleep, and then, uh, you know, uh, back to uh, back on the road. <laughs> it's uh, using New York City as a restaurant laboratory. And it's really to help uh, understand, you know, really give a glimpse in how the future of how people are neat. Because what used to happen in New York used to take 20 or 30 years, but because of technology and social media now happens, um, you know, six to 12 months from the rest of the country. As American tastes evolve, the dining landscape is changing rapidly. So quickly, it may deserve data analysis of its own. When you have so many new restaurants and so many new and young chefs, many who have worked under me, um, are coming <laughs> up to make their mark. How do you stay relevant? And I think that that's where um, I think the next phase of data is going to lead us. I think right now it's helping us make business decisions. I think eventually it's going to help us make marketing decisions. Um, we need a, a Cambridge Analytics for, for the restaurant industry. It's so interesting how much restaurants were flying blind to yes. agree. There was one yes. server that one restaurant loved. She was bringing in, she was turning tables, she was great, but she wasn't selling bottles of wine. They no. looked at the data and they said, why aren't you moving bottles of wine? And she said, because I'm terrified of opening the cork at a table. I don't yeah. know how to. They fix the problem. Now she's selling bottles of wine. All right. I want to go on their 15 restaurant tour. That sounds. <laughs> it's an odyssey. <laughs> it sounded Bring your appetite.